buddies welcome back to motorcycle university so in this video i'm going to be talking about the four strokes of a engine now engines are two kinds primarily in a motorcycle two stroke engines and four stroke engines today i'm going to be talking about how a four stroke engine functions and what are the four strokes this is very important for any motorcycle rider to understand and even for engineering students or for anyone in general all right so as i mentioned in my in my previous videos that this is a crankshaft and this is a connecting rod okay and this is a piston all right so when these both are connected it would look like this and this would go inside a cylinder all right so in the next videos i'll talk about the cylinder but now the first stroke is known as an induction stroke now the meaning of induction stroke is that when the piston goes down inside a cylinder pushes it down like this what happens is that basically the piston would go down inside the cylinder and it would induct a mixture of air and fuel okay so that mixture would get inside the cylinder through the intake valve i'll show how the valves look like in the next you know videos so first stroke induction the piston goes down like this next is compression okay so after the induction stroke the crankshaft moves like this completely okay and it comes back up again along with the piston okay so when it comes back up it compresses the air and fuel mixture in the cylinder see it goes up compressing and how much it can compress that mixture is known as the air fuel ratio uh, sorry is compression ratio okay air fuel ratio is a different topic so how much this can compress the air and fuel is known as a compression ratio which i will talk about in next videos so two strokes are over induction is over and then compression okay is also over so in the first stroke air and fuel mixture was taken inside the cylinder next stroke the air and fuel mixture was compressed okay and in at this stroke the spark plug actually gives a spark in the cylinder and that spark ignites this air fuel mixture when it is compressed all right and then this stroke the third stroke is known as a power stroke or a combustion stroke so induction compression and power okay so this is the most important stroke power stroke produces torque and here the piston could push down the connecting rod with torque top it pushes it down all right and that power is transferred to the crankshaft and crankshaft transfers the power to the clutch and the clutch transfers the power to the gearbox and the gearbox transfers the power to the chain and the chain transfers the power to the tires okay so one more stroke is left that is known as the exhaust stroke okay induction compression combustion which is the power stroke and exhaust stroke in the exhaust stroke okay the piston would again like you know the crankshaft would go all the way like this and then come up so when it is coming up the valve in the head of the engine i'll show how a head and valve looks like okay the exhaust valve opens up and when the piston goes up inside the cylinder it pushes the gases out the burnt gases out of the exhaust valve and at the same time when the exhaust valve closes the intake valve intake valve opens and the next stroke that is the first stroke which is the induction stroke happens again so it's a cycle which keeps repeating non stop till the time your engine is running all right so 
I hope you like videos like these buddies. Uh, do give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Do subscribe to this channel, to this series known as Motorcycle University. And in the next video, we are going to show the cylinder of a motorcycle. Thank you. Bye-bye.